Hi, I'm Susan and this is um, Natalie and she's going to be with me today. We're going to make some communion bread with our new order to stay at home. I thought it would be a good opportunity. So ready to get started? Yes. All right. So we have some all-purpose flour. This is a half a cup. You can use um, whole wheat flour or all-purpose flour. Just don't use self-rising flour in communion bread. We have some salt. This is kosher salt. You can use kosher, you can use table salt. Whatever you have at home um, is fine. We've got two and a half tablespoons of water and one tablespoon of olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, you can use vegetable oil, you can use canola oil, any of those will be fine. And the whole idea is to use what you have in your pantry already. So super easy, we're gonna get started. Um, I do have a little bit of extra flour, um, some, some uh, bench flour for your hands because the dough is kind of a sticky dough, so you might need some of that. So we're going to put in the half a cup of flour, a pinch of salt, just to give that a little stir, and we're going to add in the two and a half tablespoons of water and a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm gonna stir this around and give it a good stir. And get everything off of the edge of the bowl there. And you can see it's, it's sticky. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna keep going to get all of that. Okay, so now that it's mixed up and it's you don't have to worry about that little extra that's on the sides there. And we'll just take some of this extra flour and get our hands. And you washed your hands, right? Yes. Okay. You want to stick your fingers in there, and I'll let you do some of this too. So they're nice and. And then we'll just sprinkle a little bit on that because it's probably. See, it's kind of sticky. Mm -hmm. we'll just, just kind of cover it a little bit. And we're gonna put it on this cookie sheet. This is a quarter sheet pan, but you can use any kind of cookie sheet. You don't have to spray it. You don't have to use parchment paper, just right on there. Okay. So if you find that it starts to get sticky, just mm -hmm. stick your fingers in there and you're just gonna push it out into a circle using your fingertips. And you wanna get it as pretty thin, pretty much as thin as you can get it. Like I said, if it starts to feel sticky, just dip your fingers back in the flour. And just a little bit thinner. So that's probably, I would say, maybe a quarter of an inch. Does that look like about a quarter of an inch? And that's it. And when it goes in the oven, you need to preheat your oven. Make sure it's preheated to 425 degrees so it's nice and hot. And you're going to bake it for about 15 minutes. Okay. All right, so... 425 degrees for about 15 minutes. It goes in the oven. Make sure you preheat your oven. And then when it's done, it's going to look something like this. So like I said, this is a, a quarter sheet pan. If you wanted, you could probably fit two on there. One of these is large enough to be in your average family. You know, six people, eight people, that would be a large family and there's plenty there. So um, four simple ingredients. You've got these things in your house. Um, at this time that we can't get out right now, it's just it's a perfect opportunity to do this because um, you know communion is so important. You can do it as a family, and it's a lot of fun. A um, few ingredients, 15 minutes, and um, you know just nice family time. So, you want to try it? Sure. All right, let's give it a try. You can see it's kind of um, kind of a blonde color. It doesn't get real dark, kind of tan around the edges. Crispy. So it's good. So I hope you make it. And um, if you do, post your picture on Facebook, and uh, that would be awesome. We'd love to see. We'd love to see your results.